starts off, he sends out his elf, I send out Dusknoir. There's a good chance his elf's not going to stay in here, so I decide to uh, predict his switch out. And uh, hopefully I, I'm right. Well, he kind of switches out. He uses U-turn instead, but uh, the effect is the same. He brings in a Skarmory, and my Will-O-Wisp misses. Not too big of a deal, considering it has a 50% recovery move. Switch out to Starmie. He roars it away. No, Not really a threat to yet. What I should have done was go back with Starmie, and I didn't, for whatever reason. And uh, at this point, I realized I was in some deep shit, because I brought the wrong Blissey that I didn't mean to bring, so that already hurts me. I paralyze it, a thought which now I don't know why I did that either. Now I go back to Starmie, and he withdraws as well. I'm not sure why he withdrawed. I, oh, that's right, to uh, close combat to Blissey. I decide to uh, stay in, see what I can do about it. It probably slashes, so I want to get rid of that. And uh, I get with the Dark Pulse. Fortunately for me, I live. And uh, my mind's not with me. I decided to stay in and get hit with an extreme speed that I knew we packed, but I did it anyway. So, so be it. I have to move on. I bring in uh, an Amber Palm, and uh, I should have probably, I don't even remember, I don't even care, I don't remember at all. He withdraws, brings Skarmory back in, I used Fake Out, and uh, this is actually a pretty good segment for me right here, I taunt it, and uh, I'm not sure if it packed a Drill Peck or not, judging by the fact that it used Roar, and uh, that it used Stealth Rock, any common sense person would know that it doesn't pack an attack move, but I still switched out anyway. He brings in a hit on top and no intimidate, so I know it's a technician. I EQ it after it bulks up, and it uh, doesn't really hurt it too much, but I decide to hang around a little bit and EQ it again, just in case he packs like Pursuit or something, then, uh, or bulks up again, I'll be screwed. He uses Revenge on me, which kind of hurts. And uh, I was surprised why my Swamper went first in the first place. So I'm predicting another revenge right here. But in order to remedy that, I'm going to use Avalanche. So I'll go second regardless. It brings in Skarm, which doesn't do much of anything to it. And uh, by this point, it's pretty obvious that he wants to use Roar. But I don't exactly have any other options anyway. So I try to uh, bring Ambipom in there for the taunt again. And it roared as expected. Dust Noir came in, and uh, I don't really have too much of a choice anyway on what to do with these guys using some new pokes that I got from Awesome. A little bit of Paralyzed Hacks, which is nice for me. I don't know wh whether it was trying to spike or roar again. And uh, I'm kind of... I don't, even, I don't even remember. I forget what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. That's what I was thinking. I taunted again. And uh, clearly expecting the extreme speed. Though I should have used Fake Out. I'm pretty sure it still has priority. Even if it won't flinch a second turn. But whatever, I didn't. And clearly this shows how well I'm thinking that I bring Blissey to a nice close combat stab. But uh, I did it anyway. Whatever. And uh, by this point, looking at the two new pokes that I brought in Ambipom. And uh, somebody that I send out now. And after having all that stupid shit go on with... Starmy and with Blissey. I conceded defeat and figured uh, I'd try again here. So we rematch and hopefully it goes a little bit better. We both switched out some pokes. Actually, I only switched out one. And uh, I still... I don't, I don't remember if I brought the wrong bush or not. So at this point, I should have predicted the U-turn and I didn't. I should have shadow sneaked, but I went with the same thing as last time. And uh, he does the same thing as last time as well. Except, uh, though I should have Shadow Sneaked, I didn't. This time the Willow was Pits, but again, not really that big of a deal. He doesn't Drill Pack or Brave Bird. I switch out to the Sandower again, like last time, and he sets up Stealth Rock. Pretty uh, similar game here, guys. Hopefully I'll think properly. And uh, Tibble, I'm afraid, since he said he switched out, I'm afraid of like Evi or something coming in. So I go with an Ice Beam, or a Ground Pokemon for that matter. And uh, Blissey goes in. I rapid spin away, expecting a T-Wave, and Natural Cure won't be bothered by it. Though anyone intelligent would T-Wave two turns in a row on a Starmie. But, uh, whatever. I get with an S-Toss instead. So now, I'm pretty, uh, pissed off. 
He's using Scar and Bliss again, which we agreed after our first battle that we wouldn't use on each other because it was pretty boring and it was pretty stupid as it's both Scar and Bliss. But I guess he doesn't remember, he doesn't care, whatever. Focus Blast hits and uh, that proves he uses uh, only special Blissey. It's got no defense whatsoever. Otherwise, Focus Blast would do more than 50%. So I switch out to a physical attacker and I get hit with the T-Wave now. By that point, I didn't even think he packed T-Wave, but he apparently he still did. So, and uh, I forget what the hell happens now. He brings in that dude, and I use Fake Out. And uh, I probably shouldn't, I don't even remember, because I don't care. I switch out again, which I probably shouldn't have. Go to the Dustin Wall, that's right, I wanted to burn it or something at least. And uh, he uses Bullet Punch over Mach Punch to hit ghosts like Gengar. Actually, it's pretty much just for Gengar. I guess Miss Mangius too. Willowis misses again, but it's not a big deal. I pretty much stopped caring at this point as the fact that he's still using a Scar and Bliss against us. And I decided to leave. I've got much better things to do. If you want to play a match, like for real, then uh, let me know. Peace.